Active Campaign Split Testing. In this video, we'll show you how to set up, configure, and run a split test using Active Campaign Split Testing capabilities. You can test the sender information, the subject line, and content. You can have up to five variations. So, in my opinion, Active Campaign's done an excellent job on the implementation, making this easy to do. On the downside, in my opinion, you might have a little too much power. So, let me show you what we can do. Inside your Active Campaign account, to use the split testing capability, you go to Campaigns, go ahead and new, click on New Campaign, and I'm going to call this Split Test. Click on the Split Testing option, the type of campaign, go to Next. And this is going to look very familiar if you do a standard split test. You're going to want to select the list that you're um, going to send to. And then you have to choose what you want to do. Do you want to just test email subjects and or information or basically everything? Let's go for everything. And just like a normal campaign, you want to select a template to use. I'm simply going to use one I've used previously. So there is split test, let's call it one. That's gonna be one subject line. I'm gonna click on continue. And notice at the bottom, this little thing pops up. This is test one. So what you wanna do at this point is go ahead and click on this. This will be test two. And whatever's green is the current variation. So I'm just gonna change this. This is all I'm going to change. I could change, I'll show you in a second. I could also come over here and change, for instance, subject line, which actually I will do. But in my opinion, you're, you want to start with just a few things and actually want to make them pretty dramatic, the things you change. Um, and if you have a small list, in this case, I've only got 34 people I'm sending to. So honestly, I don't think this is going to show much value. Um, but you do have that capability. So I've got two variations that I could send and I can make as many changes as I want. Again, I'd recommend maybe just one significant change from one variation to the next. And the easiest would be subject line. Simply changing the subject line, especially on a small list, would be kind of the smart way to go. So anyways, making all the changes, I can have as up to five variations, but like I said, a small list, man, you want to keep it down to just a few different choices. I'm going to go to next. And I could have clicked on test one to go back to it and made changes. Again, excellent implementation. So here's the split testing options. And again, it, it, I think they give you a lot of capability. Um, just be careful with it. So you can simply let it run as is and do a, it looks like, I don't think you can do percent. You can't, it's just basically a 50-50 because I have two. If I had three, it would be a 33, 33, 34. Um, and then I could, if I wanted to, do something like this. Now, my recommendation is you do um, you determine a winner and then send the rest if you have a large list. Well, what's a large list? Well, that depends. And let me just do a little math for you. I've, I've got a split test calculator I found by searching for. And I'll be honest, at one time I may have understood the math behind this, but now I don't really know how it works. I just know that it calculates statistics that say whether it's statistically significant or not. And usually there's a 90% threshold. Do I know all the math behind that? Not anymore. But I know enough to at least be aware of it and understand that you, you really want to have a difference in results. And the more visitors you have in this case, uh, the easier it is to show st statistical difference between results. So let me just do some math. So. Um, Let's start, let's say you had a, a list of a thousand and let me go back here to show you what you could do. So what they're saying in this case is, you know, do we split it based on the best click rate? Well, what is the best click rate? And you would determine it or should we do openings? 
and then when do we stop after hours days weeks if you stopped after hours and you only have 34 people on your list well you probably already sent out you know to the majority of people but you can specify what percentage of your list and they're basically recommending 10 10 and then the rest get the winning email so let's just do some math let's say we had a thousand people and we're gonna send 500 to each and let's say 10% of those do our goal. So that's 50 people. And then let's say here, 5% of the people accomplish the goal. Is that statistically significant? It absolutely is. What if, on the other hand, instead of this 10%, 5%, it was, let's say this is 5%. And this is two and a half, which would be 12. So let's just round up to 13. So yeah, that would still be significant. Now go back here and what they're saying is, let's just send a 10% for this split and 10% to this split. Okay, let's knock this down to 50. Let's knock this down to 50. So we sent to 100 people out of a thousand lists. And if we do 10%, that would be five. And if we do 5%, let's just say it's three. Not even close to being statistically significant. There's obviously a difference. And, you know, maybe this is good enough, but it's not statistically significant. So my point is with a small list, you're probably best simply just doing, uh, don't even determine, just basically collect data. And at the end, review it, use your brain to decide, oh, here's the winner, and then maybe why it is. If it's, if it's obviously the winner, it's like, you know, 2x, 3x uh, better open rate or click-through rate, then use that idea in your next email. But if you have a small list, um, it's difficult to um, send that to a small portion of your list and then figure out the winner. So, and that's, that's about all you need to do to get set up and run. So I'm gonna go ahead and click and save. And then it could get queued up to send off. So that's how you set up split testing in ActiveCampaign.